getting yeah, ready to play Michigan you? State. <laughs> you have a chance to see them on film at all yet? And oh, yeah, we watched them a little bit here and there. Um, they, I mean, it's Michigan State. They've, they have a really good offense, really good defense, everything like that. But, um, you know, we do too. So it'll be a great, it'll be a great matchup. You're one of the guys who saw LJ Scott years ago. He didn't play much this year because of injury. Yeah. I'm sure, obviously, you're still familiar with how good he can be. Mm -hmm. What do you think of facing him again, even though he, you know, he didn't play much? This yeah, I, didn't, I mean, I didn't get to play any. I don't think I played any in that game anyway, so um, I didn't really get a chance to get a feel for him. So it would be, it'd be pretty interesting. He looks pretty versatile on film, so uh, we'll see what he does on the field. You say you wish you could come back for one more year? I mean, yeah, of course. This was your junior year, you'd come back for another one? Of course, of course. I, I mean, I love this team. Um, I haven't been around a program like this in a while, and just the way the coaches are and everything like that, and this culture is, is, is great. And of course, I'd come back a year if I could. What do you think about the senior bowl invite? Uh, I was I was happy. I was really excited. Uh, my mom called me almost crying and stuff. So um, just being able to make my parents proud and stuff like that is, is great. And I love being able to have another opportunity to play football. What does DJ bring, bring to the field? And how can he make an impact? DJ Johnson? Yeah. Um, he's a great player. Um, he's been working a lot this offseason just trying to get in a playbook and stuff like that just because he's, he's been on scout team. So trying to learn half scout team and then half of actually what we're doing is pretty hard. So I'm um, just been allowing his workload. But um, he's been pushing to make urges and stuff like that and strides for being a great player. And um, coming to the next couple of years, I'm going to have to come see what he's doing because at practice, he's been putting in work and stuff in pass for us. So see so how to see it translates to the game. Lamar called him the predator. Yeah, no, Where we call him the predator. Oh, uh, his dreads. His dreads. He always wears, uh, he has dreads and he always wears headbands and stuff. So um, I don't know. We just call him the predator. So. Looking back on this year, what would be your personal highlight and team, and team personal? Um, team personal highlight would probably be beating Washington and celebrating on the field. Um, I've never been a part of something like that. Um, last time that happened to us was when we lost first Oregon State, no, the other way around. So um, I had my dad on the field and stuff like that, celebrating with us. It was great. So um, per, like personal one. Um, any big play or any? Uh... No, because I wish I could have made more. So you well, made some. Um, you made some. <laughs> that's a hard one. Uh, I'd probably just say the Washington game, just because I mean we had to put all of our into it and. Um, it was a tough game, and we battled it out, and it ended up in, the, in our favor. So, right. you, you probably already mentioned this before, but uh, just Michigan State, what have you seen on film from them so far? Um, they they do run kind of an odd offense. They have a lot of big tight. They have a big tight end, it's like 290 pounds or something like that, and they run a lot of like 21 personnel and stuff. So. Um, we haven't, they haven't really, they don't have a lot of film versus 3-4, actual 3-4, so it's kind of hard watching film versus them right now. So um, we're just going to kind of plug things in and see how it happens and see how we fit gaps and just go from there. What, what's your personal what, studies and what are you going to do after football or after NFL or whatever? Yeah, what do you think um, I don't know. I really don't know. What's your um, main interest? Yeah, my, I mean, of course I'd like to do something like the art world or something like that, like work for Nike, be like a product designer or something like that, cool. but. Um, if things don't work out, I'll just I'd, I'd end up coming and try back to coach. I mean, that would always be a good thing. Um, coming like back, trying to coach D line or something like that, linebackers. Um, just being around football, the main thing. Um, yeah. I mean, regardless, when I, whenever I retire out of the game and I don't get a chance to play again, I'll just I'll be around the game regardless. Something I always love. How big was it beating ASU? Yeah, here, here that was pretty close to Washington. Wasn't it? Yeah, um, it was big, especially after um, what they had did to us back at their hometown. So. Um, and they have, they, have, they have some great players in Kill and Manny and all those guys are, are great players. So um, being able to have our, our secondary in the back, back in the defense locked down like that all game is crazy. So yeah, obviously you won't be here to see it, but seeing what recruiting is around this program and kind of what happened over the weekend, do you get excited for that? Of course. Uh, I mean, just having all these people around, just you know, you get to show off what, what we have and show off what we we're getting ready to become. So. Um, having young guys come up here, five-star recruits and four-star recruits and stuff like that all the time just goes to show you what type of program we have and what type of program we're going to become again. So um, it's great. All these young guys have been coming up here, have been good guys. Um, I loved all of them. Nobody's had any issues or anything like that. I feel like everybody's had a really fun time here just hanging out with the coaches and stuff. I think I've seen Coach Joe jump in a pool with clothes <laughs> on and stuff. So um, it's funny how coaches get around these guys. So it's just fun to have fun with these guys.